Hi, I'm Elizabeth, host and producer of Building Communities. You'll be traveling coast to coast with me as we explore the many different aspects of building communities. Each episode features a visit to a different community. Today we are in New Mexico to visit a community. You'll experience a look at various types of building construction. I set out to make buildings take care of people. Perhaps utility okay. resources Where too. everyone lives off the grid and uses only solar and power. And many unique ways people manifest a community lifestyle. This community's aim is to be environmentally and socially sustainable. Today we'll travel to Oberlin College in Oberlin, Ohio to visit the Lewis Center for Environmental Studies. This noted building is a real hands-on learning experience for students of environmental studies. This is our living machine which is a wastewater treatment facility. Pinion Eco Village is a small, new, intentional community. Nevada is all about water. Paris? <laughs> no, today we're going to Las Vegas by way of a monopoly. Centralized utilities lock us into a 50-year increment of evolution. The University of Nevada to develop climate. Is that all it is? <laughs> The burning big question by way of UN is how to sustain the growth pattern we're in, the unsustainable pattern. I think architecture is pitifully failing in terms of what it really should be. Is it possible to design buildings so well and so carefully they do not cast a long shadow over the future that our students will inherit? No one can say for certain what our future brings. And although the U.S. has pledged financial and technical resources at home and internationally to advance the development of renewable, earth-friendly, alternative energy sources, our funding for research and development in energy is far too little and is, in fact, in decline. The new energy bill, energy bill, renewable evolution, the new energy pitiful fail off the grid, sustainable new energy funding, energy. how to sustain the growth pattern. In 1895, a group, a fraternal group known as the Narragansett Tribe Number 25, came together to commemorate an event that happened in ages past. This was put in here with red cement, signifying blood. In other words, we're all erected here, but we're bound together with a common blood for a common purpose. And I hope that uh, many will come from far and near, just like the Cherokees once did. Uh, to pay homage to the spirit around the stone. US power no one can say for, for that time. task seems so clearly to be no less than to turn the course of our species. What our future brings. There used to be a pottery studio right up in there. Too. And they were real quiet, woodsy and, you know, hippie. And There's another house down over there. I almost bought it. Because there was no one killed. And I'm in this area. Got, got a group of people together. Planted acorns so that we could have oak trees again in the burned out area in the Wilderness Park. There will be earth over the top. We'll run that with the heat pump with a photovoltaic and solar energy. So it'll be basically all solar energy. The unsustainable pattern of growth, earth surely will Historic stop. inhabitants of Sun Watch manipulated the prairie and used the environment around them. Green roofs are becoming the ray of new hope to cool us, our cities, and some say, hmm, grow dope. Now, most of importance, berm houses three sides. You'll need not a furnace or AC besides. Uh, building buildings that, not only building buildings, but building buildings that embody energy. Because if berm houses, houses three, three sides, sides. You'll, you'll need not a furnace or AC besides. Just how people live in their own little units could affect things in an unbelievable way. And ultimately, it would affect the minds and hearts of people. You can see the solar panels there. We'll share a horseback riding experience together and then end our visit with a great meal followed by singing and making music awesome. together. I have uh -huh. a, I got a solar panel. Crazy. <laughs> you know, the first time I told an engineer I was going to be able to Solar or wind power on the roof, a rainwater catchment system, and soothing interior gardens where owners can it's grow. It's not a moral issue, it's not a spiritual issue. 
It's not a, it's not a political issue. It is a logical issue. It's just pure logic. It's like you're, you're here, and there's six billion of you here, and you've got to apply some logic. California. This show is a spoof on colleges, a comedy, but it is about building communities, the kind that are found in coffee shops all across this country. Coffee shops, not in coffee shops. Now, to be a dean at the college, you must be incompetent at what you do. So if you see shaky cameras and unfocused images... Yeah, we are at the Bulbaville. <laughs> This twisted storyline was created in hopes that only must go It is for entertainment <laughs> purposes only. The comments by interview guests and images constitute neither an endorsement nor a recommendation. And this is the end of the production scene. Who does not warrant the completeness, accuracy, legality, or timeliness of any comments herein? The power of sun, which now lays most dormant, with solar technology could be a dormant. To give you your power, to give you your power, and then catch your own water, free to us all. Look what, what sense, sense will say, say got her. <laughs> Until next trip, this is Liz Phillips in Las Vegas. On the Mesa near Santa Fe. I'll come here for a couple of months of the year. I know it's easier. No animals are harmed during the production of this video. Do not operate your machinery while viewing this video if it may cause relevant external use and scheduling use of your attention because the company of law do not remove this tag under the reach of children. Before you work ahead of this already in the state, I'm a required. There will be a sequel that will hopefully address these issues. Good luck. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Until next Goodbye. trip.